we had an amazing interview with Lloyd Stovall and as of now I believe that Lloyd is the only person or the only American who believes that Maxwell's stake can be achieved today. So I would like to hear your opinion about the same. We did talk about a lot of things and the next part will come where Lloyd explains what's the difference between his stake and Maxwell's stake and also how his tech works. So I hope you keep an eye for it. Like, do you believe that Maxwell technology works or not, according to what you know so far? Maxwell say that to himself, okay? If you're switching your MOSFETs and it starts to make its own current, you can run any application, any application. I don't care if it's a car. Like, do you believe that Maxwell technology works or not according to what you know so far? Yes, it, it works, um, but it has problems. So if you understand what problems they have with the technology that he's using, all people who use the same technology has the same problem. When, um, you know, he has been quiet for a while and people have been like i think like m many people are starting to have doubts like uh, is this technology real or not so do you believe maybe such problems are the ones which are making him to be quiet or maybe he just doesn't have a product well like i said because he doesn't have much uh experience you know he, he's figuring this stuff out by himself he figured it out right. That, that's the amazing thing is that he figured out what Nikolai Tesla figured out all by himself. So that was amazing. But what happened is, is that when you don't get regular schooling, you don't understand the faults they put in these uh, applications, these circuits. The reason why they put these problems in the circuit is because we were taught in school, if you made a superior product and when it hits the market, you cannot sell anymore. Cause what happened is, is that it'll saturate the market. And because your product never dies or never goes out, you have nothing else to sell. Okay, do you understand this? Okay, so they put faults into these circuits. These circuits uh, explode or blow up, fuses blow, so you can be a repeat customer so they can resell the product to you. This is, this is well known, they teach it in all our, our colleges. So they say if you uh, wanted, they use an example, Tupperware. Tupperware said their stuff will last your lifetime. Well, Tupperware went out of business because once they saturated the market, nobody needed it no more because it lasts a lifetime. So you, you're done. <laughs> it lasts forever. Okay. So they went out of business. So they said, why would you make such a product that lasts forever? And then in a few years, when it saturates the market, you have nothing else to sell. So they purposely make inferior products. And unfortunately, Maxwell started ripping out these, these uh, circuits out of other products not knowing that they were inferior. Okay, there's the problem. But but there's that audio that there's that video that last time I brought your attention where he says that he uses seventy percent his own components and thirty are only like thirty is what already exists, but seventy percent is what he comes up. It's on you believe that or yes, I believe that, but guess what? You got you got here's the thing if you use all your components in your projects and your project takes batteries and you have no batteries, how good is your product? 
Okay, so if you made all your if you made all your components, you said, "Oh, I made this new radio what's things, but it takes batteries." But you don't have any batteries. How good is your product? You get it? So yeah, yeah, so yeah. let let me put it in Maxwell thing. Maxwell uses MOSFETs, those little black units. I don't care how many components he made, if those yeah. blow up because they are the main driver of his product, his product doesn't work. I've seen a lot of comments lately, many people supporting that I that concept of MOSFETs, even today. There's somebody who I saw posting about the same and told them to contact you. They are also very sure hundred percent that Maxwell is using MOSFETs. Yes. We but see you gotta understand that we've seen it on his radio. We we know what MOSFETs do. We understand why that aluminum plate needs to be cooled. Because you have to cool MOSFETs because it makes amps. It, what we call current, pulse current. Yeah. We, we normally laymen call it amps. But there is no amps. It's not even amps in your electricity plug. Not even in Africa. When you plug something into the wall, you're not using amps. When people quote the thing says uh, voltage times amps, they don't know what they're talking about. Because we're using pulse current. And they don't know the difference between current and amps. This is the reason why they can't do all this new technology. When they're looking for green energy or they're looking for um, uh, uh, what they call free energy, they can't produce this because they don't know the difference between pulse current and amps, which is the secret. Nikola Tesla made pulse current in which we all were supposed to be using. They didn't want us using that because you can artificially make uh, pulse current therefore they have nothing to sell this is the reason why I spoke up in the first place yes you've okay. been yes you've been you've been very vocal lately you've been very vocal about this and many people are talking about you yeah because we know the components that's why I said once we've seen the aluminum plate the fan the, the uh, transformer. I says, you know what? He has he has a MOSFET in there. He has it's a, he needs that to switch. It makes uh, current, which means in layman terms, he, he's creating amps. The only way you can charge batteries if you have enough amps in your system. Yes. I don't care what other parts he got. If he doesn't have the, the energy to charge the battery, he mm. has no product. That's what the MOSFETs do. Yes, yeah, so, so in fact, this brings me to another question. Like in, in the very first video of yours that we posted on the channel, you said that he has to use an input system like a battery. And many people in the comments came up and said, uh, his device does not use any battery as an input source but maybe can you be able to explain why he needs the battery because even on the safe technology website on the most frequent asked question they have uh, indicated that they use a battery as an input source to start the system so maybe can you be able to explain why that battery is important here's the thing, here's the thing. Yeah. batteries have amps and, and voltage you start the system which he said his main input uh, thing is batteries if they watched his interview Max will say that to himself okay now if you're switching your MOSFETs and it starts to make its own current okay then you don't need any more of the battery because you're, you got another component this like little generators that's giving you all the power you need to uh, charge back up the battery okay well, let's, let's take an example of how the original car worked if you didn't have an alternator in your car you your battery would go dead 
If your battery goes dead, it wouldn't fire the spark plugs to, to ignite the gasoline. Okay? So, in the initial, you turn over your car, it, the battery goes into and uh, turns on the engine. The engine drives the, um, the alternator. The alternator now recharges the battery. Am I right? Okay, so why why would his be any different? Yeah, I see people people need to know. I think most people missed that part and uh, they feel like they feel like it doesn't need it. But again, which brings us to now like uh, this concept of free energy. It has been around for far too long. And maybe do you believe like uh, the lack of an input energy source is what maybe made those who came before to be able to fail to be, to achieve the free energy concept. Well, they're not going to understand the, in, the energy concept because when Nikola Tesla brought it to forefront, he has patents. He built the the, the Wardenclyffe tow, uh, tower. He took he took the energy from the sky and the earth, which is a capacitor, and then he amplified that, which is voltage only. He amplified the voltage. Okay. When he did that. Remember this is only voltage. Okay. It's, it's potential energy. That's what we call it. Voltage is potential energy. It's not usable without current. Okay. So what happened is, is what is current? And this is what people mess up when they say, oh, Nikola Tesla was going to uh, transmit energy over the air. You can't transmit energy over the air because amps don't go through the air. Okay? Amps do not go through the air. Okay? So what, how do you get your amps? It's called frequency. Each tower would take uh, electricity, uh, uh, voltage, from the air and the earth. Each antenna he built would have done that automatically. So he, does, he doesn't need to transmit anything. It makes no sense if you, if you take one tower and you get electricity from the air and the ground. Why would you need to transfer the same amount of energy over to somewhere else if you can just take it from the air and the ground where it's at? So what he was going to transmit was the frequency, which was the radio waves. That was a radio tower. I would tell people to go back and study Nikola Tesla and what he was supposed to build for, um, what is it, uh, J.P. Morgan, the banker. He was supposed to be building a radio station and be the first person to send a radio wave. But Marconi stole his patents, used his patents, and made the first broadcast. This would made J.P. Morgan mad and said he was going to shut down the pro uh, the uh, the program. Okay, so the whole point is that tower was going to tra transmit radio waves. This is a frequency. And now if you take a frequency and you vibrate voltage at a very high speed, it makes pulse current. Pulse current. This is your free energy that everybody's been looking for because you just took radio waves, you, vi you, you vibrated at a high speed and you get pulse current. You can run any application any application i don't care if it's a car i don't care if it's a motorcycle i don't care if it's with any applications if you got voltage times current which means amps you can run anything you want as far as this electrical uh, uh when we talk about electrical motors and stuff like that when it comes to this type of technology uh, can you be able to clarify maybe what's the difference between what you're doing and what Maxwell is doing? I know you both need an input energy system, but like what's the difference between Lloyd's uh, 
technology and maybe Maxwell's type of technology, the well, microsonic energy Maxwell device. Said it, Maxwell said it himself. He's taking radio waves and he's amplifying those radio waves. 